unknown boy killed by train. But the citizens of Greenville raised the money to at least afford him the dignity of a marker. Every week we hit the road to tell the stories of the people, places, and events that make Hunt County great. These are our friends and our neighbors telling their own stories in their own words. Stories worth knowing and sharing. These are the stories that make us proud to call this place home. And around every corner, we find something else that makes us want to celebrate Hunt County. This program would not be possible without the support of our generous sponsors. Thank you. East Mount Cemetery in Greenville, the first burial took place there in 1850 place with the famous, the infamous, and the unknown. A graveyard is often described as the last resting place of our dearly beloved, but East Mount Cemetery should also be first on any list of history lovers, first actually associated with this place. An early Indian campground, it became the site of Greenville's first schoolhouse in 1850. The same year, a man asked that his deceased wife be allowed to be buried near the schoolyard and that's how it informally became our first uh, public burial ground in the city of Greenville. Cemetery Street runs through this property. All the uh, early grave sites are on the east side of that street, meaning they were just that far outside the official city limits of the town site. The marker of J.D. Lassiter is an exquisite sculpture its height reaches right into the boughs of the tree. You almost feel like the angel is uh, uh, overlooking all the other graves as well as his own. It's also the gravesite of a woman by the name of Lally Briscoe Carlisle. She's the first woman to hold an elective office in the state of Texas, 1902, which is almost 20 years before women had the right to vote. Tom King was Hunt County's first millionaire, and he was buried here in June 1897, following a tragic triple drowning that occurred on his ranch just outside of Greenville. The sole survivor of this incident said that it was a freak accident, but others believe it was murder. At the other end of the spectrum is a simple marker uh, near the western edge of the cemetery unknown boy killed by train, July 31st, 1935. The body of the approximately 10-year-old boy was never claimed by any family, but the citizens of Greenville raised the money to at least afford him the dignity of a marker. The cemetery is a microcosm of uh, all of the society represented in our community. You have perhaps unknown burial place of some of the Native Americans. You have people who fought on both sides of the Civil War. You have business people. You have people of color. There's a section only for infants. So every element of society is represented here. You will see things that will touch you, the descriptions on the markers, as well as there are little stories that unfolded on each one. A child that died on their fourth birthday or a woman that lived to be 104. If you want to know the history of your town, learn about the lives that were uh, lived here and how they contributed to the way the community exists today. Our many historic places are just another reason to celebrate Hunt County. If you liked this story, help us celebrate by sharing it with your friends and family. Our stories appear on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and cable TV on Juice34. You can also find us online at CelebrateHuntCounty.com. If you'd like to suggest someone to feature in our program, email your idea to stories at CelebrateHuntCounty.com. We also want to thank our sponsors for making our storytelling possible. We hope you'll support the hometown businesses that keep Hunt County strong.
Family is very important to us and that's why we wanted to bring family to our business. We tell folks that at Home Texas Real Estate, we work as a team and we're all working together to try to sell your house or we're all working together to help you find the right one that you want to buy. With At Home Texas Real Estate, it's our family helping your family.